All right, so now you probably clicked on this video because you're running Linux with an EncryptFS encrypted home folder set up and you went and changed your password on your user account and it works fine until the next time you reboot your system and then you go to log in and it either gives you a black screen or gets stuck on the login screen and then you wait a little while and it's not getting past that screen and booting you into the desktop. So now if you get into TTY mode by pressing Control alt f 2 you may need to press Control alt f and f 2 if you're on a laptop, and then log in there. Then you find out that your EcryptFS encrypted home folder has trouble mounting. Now, basically what this is, is it means that your EcryptFS login passphrase that is used for decrypting your EcryptFS mount passphrase, which is used to decrypt your home folder, is different than the password on your user account, which causes problems with mounting your EcryptFS encrypted home folder. And as a result, the system locks up when you try to log into your user account. So to fix this, you're gonna type Ecrypt fs rewrap passphrase slash home slash your username. It'll be the first word in the bash prompt, like before the at symbol and your computer's name, if you know what I mean, slash dot ecrypt fs slash wrap pass phrase and I'll have that command in the description then hit enter then you're going to enter your old password which is currently your ecryptfs login passphrase now if you forgot this then unfortunately you cannot fix this but I'm going to punch that in and then punch in your new passphrase which is your current user password and then you're going to have to punch that in again and then we're going to go reboot the system and now we're going to log in as normal with our new password or rather the password that we set it to before this and now it'll boot you into your desktop now I just want to say I tested this on vanilla Ubuntu. This issue does not occur there as long as you use the GUI to change your password. And by the way, I'm not sure about the command line or the terminal, as you may call it. However, I'm using Kubuntu, which is a Ubuntu derivative, and this is an issue here. And this might be an issue with other Ubuntu derivatives and a lot of other Linux distros, though I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't take my word for it, because I really don't have time to test out every single one of the hundreds of Linux destroys. That would just take forever. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it helpful and timely, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. Hope I saved at least a few people from having to wipe and reinstall.